video, everybody wants attention. So, I just want to make this quick and short. Uh, I've been watching my videos, and I know that I've been snorting and sniffling uh, quite a bit. And I don't really realize that when I'm making the video because I'm so involved trying to capture what I want to share with my viewers. But after watching them and editing them, uh, even I get tired of listening to myself. Or, and I try to cut the worst ones out, believe it or not. But I'm going to start taking uh, Sudafed because in the past that has helped dry my sinuses up uh, bone dry. So hopefully that will cure the problem for the next video. But uh, I just want to put that in there that yes I understand that I do this unknowingly and uh, even I don't like it. So I understand if you don't either. But please don't let that little irritation stop you from watching our videos and uh, I hope you try to get the most out of them because uh, I'm trying to share with you what we enjoy doing and the joy we get out of uh, being outdoors, traveling, hiking, camping, whether it's during the summer months when we hike and camp or during the uh, crappy winters up here when we get out and travel in our RV with the girls. So. Before I make this too much longer, this video is going to be as pretty long, but uh, bear with me, it's worth it. And maybe if you're in the area, you'll want to check this hike out yourself. So let's get to it. Thank you again for understanding. Well, here we are on the trail up to Summit Lake. From the trailhead, where the parking lot is, to where the trail first was at Twin Lakes, it took us about 30 minutes at a brisk climbing hiking speed with the dogs. But here at this point, Twin Lakes, the trail veers to the right to go up to Bearhead Mountain, which is much higher elevation than the highest point on Summit Lake. So let's go up here to Twin Lakes, which is basically uh, two large swamps, I think. This is where I leave the dogs off leash now because it's pretty smooth uphill from here. And it's trailhead. So I'm going to let the girls off the leash here and let them get a drink of water and roam around a little. Here's a better view of Twin Lakes. It has trout in it, but very small. It's a nice little place to stop after your first brief climb and the dogs are all cooled off, energized and raring to go. So let's be on our way. It's just a steady climb up till we get to the lake itself. Then a very steep climb up to the pinnacle of what I call the tierra that forms the Lake Basin. Oh, there's one part on this trail I never look forward to, and that is what I call the Trailway to Heaven. And it is the longest straight 45 degree climb on this trail. And from the base of it, looking uphill, it goes as far as the eye can see. A steady, smooth incline of about 40, 45 degrees. And that is the longest, hardest part, in my opinion, of this trail. And here we are on the trailway to heaven. Way, way up farther than you can see. You girls ready? This is the big one. Yeah. This is the one you think you're never going to get to the top on. So, let's get. It just puts us closer to the lake. That's the best part. Okay. Sarah, you're going the wrong way. Okay, forward. Yeah, I told you. 
Sarah's getting up there. There's no end to this trail. Guess where? It's like, it just doesn't stop. You tell her, Kate, you keep her in line. Okay, up and up we go. Holy cow, did they stretch this out? Did they possibly make it longer? Non-stop incline? Hey guys, you can wear yourself out before we get to the lake. Okay, hey, someone ought to put a swing here. All right, well we gotta be getting close. Holy cow. Here we are. This is where you know you're almost to the lake basin. This little slope here, always full of wildflowers, beautiful little things. We have tiger lilies, daisies of all kinds. And it's just always a burst of beautiful color here in this little patch. And here we are. We have made it to Summit Lake. Hey girls, let's go down to the lake. So we're gonna take this cut off. Go down to the lake. A little pond that's fed by snow melt. And usually it's gone by the end of summer. It's not permanent. Yeah, Sarah, you can see, is already down there enjoying herself. Sarah! So, we'll just continue down this main trail to the lake. Hey guys, this way. Hey! Come on! Come on! There's another picture of the snowmelt pond and here we are at the campsite we would always hike to and camp at when we came up here a lot of times on the weekends in the 70s beautiful little place not exactly level but it had a nice view of the lake and that you can see what uh, people have done to it okay well let me get down here and show you where we're heading we are heading up and over that peak which is the top of what I consider the tierra that forms Summit Lake Basin. And from that point, you have a 360 degree view of everything. And I prefer going up this way because it's difficult. And then we just follow the ridge line around the lake as it slowly goes down, lower, lower, and back and joins the trail going down. Here's kind of a beach, you might call it. And that's looking up the ridge that we're gonna to climb to the peak there. And, Sarah, come. I'm so thankful these dogs are voice trained commands. And Sarah has a bell on her. That dog never wears out. For 11 years old, you'd think she was two. And we'll swing around here. And another peak at beautiful Mount Rainier. That's the big payoff on this hike. A beautiful lake and a fantastic view of Rainier, Mount Tahoma. And once we're up on that peak, you can look down on Enumclaw towards Tacoma and everything else so we are going to climb the ridge ah 
one of our first views climbing up the ridge here of the entire lake starting to catch some wind hopefully it's not picking up on this but it's beautiful one of my favorite hikes sometimes climbing up this part I feel like I'm bent over at a 90 degree angle with my nose on the ground because we're climbing at such a steep rate to get to the pinnacle dogs make it look easy and it was easier for me years ago but I'm still making it oh we're almost up to our picture rock for this hike okay okay here we are at our picture rock for this hike up the ridge here we got farther to go but this is our little rock we get our group shot on overlooking Summit Lake and we have gone from the beach to this high already and I tell you it's tough coming up here you're grabbing roots and miniature alpine fur and anything you can hold on to pull yourself up to trail you can see far off in the distance there looks like a little sandy cove that's where the summer beach is there's always somebody down there so who Sarah what do you think huh I haven't heard any marmots or anything nope so all right you guys ready to keep going we got to get way up beyond those trees before we're even at the top and here we are on the top and there's Mount Rainier staring at us Bearhead Mountain okay girls let's go Sarah come on And up here on the very, very tippy top, just a huge rock outcropping and a sheer cliff, which I gotta keep tabs on Sarah because that crazy dog would go right off the edge. Girls, behave yourselves. I don't want to have to get a lifeline out and rescue you. <sighs> and we'll look. towards Enumclaw and off towards the Olympics if it was clear enough and there's a better view of Copley Lake or Copley Lake and if you look down there that's the trailhead There seems to be quite a few more cars than before. So, we come right up through that ravine to that little marsh area where it splits. Trail goes up to Bearhead, up around the ridge side, up the back, facing Mount Rainier to the top. And you go up the ravine and hang a left and go up through the hills to some lake so we're going to go over here get off this uh, cliff outcropping and here's the trail as it 
goes down gradually much nicer smoother trail to the ridge here just gradually down and down into the lake so hey girls we're gonna head down here and eventually get to one of our other picture rocks and we'll just casually take our time. Sarah, what are you doing? Yep. Beautiful. It's a little tougher. Well, quite a bit tougher than Sheep Lake. Much higher elevation gain faster. But uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You, you feel like you're on top of the world. Trying to get the girls to calm down for a, a beautiful video here is a little hard to do because they are go, 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 go. They don't know. They don't have a stop button sometimes. But what do you think, Kate? How about you there, kid? You're panting like a banshee. You guys want to take a drink of water? Huh? Want a drink of water? Okay. But you got to calm down. Stay in one place. What do you think, Sarah? Huh? Isn't that beautiful? Yep. Beautiful hike. Okay. Having come up the hardest part of this trail that encircles the lake, this is so much more pleasant hiking back down this gradual trail down the slope to the lake again. And here we come almost down to the lake level to this huge open field. Sarah amazes me. For 11 years old, this dog is like the ever-ready bunny. She never slows down. And when she does, it's for a short period of time, and her batteries are supercharged again. I think she's got lithium batteries because they charge up so quick after constantly running at full speed. There's a marmot over there somewhere in that talus slope. Chirping, we hear him. She's gone over there to look for him. Can't find him yet. But this has got some... I think beautiful moss-covered old alpine firs. What are you looking for, Kate? Yeah, after our short break here, we'll go down to the lake shore again, let him play, and we're going to head home. This guy. Okay, Kate, you ready? Sarah? Sarah, the marmot is not going to let you find her. I'm going to get my pack on and we're going to take off, okay guys? The bugs are starting to get thicker now. It's warming up, getting hotter. So, oh, I know, I know, you want to play fetch, but let's go down to the lake instead, okay? Let's go down to the lake and play, and then we'll head home. Sarah, are you out of juice yet? No. Okay, I'm going to get my pack on and we're going to head down the trail down to the lake. And here we are at the beach part. In warmer weather, the lake recedes and you have a rocky but very nice beach here. And... That's the ridge we climbed up to the peak. And then we just took that gentle trail all the way down to the lake here. You can see how clear these alpine lakes here and the Cascades are. Beautiful. Beautiful.
I swear, Sarah should have fins, not legs. What do you think you're going to do? Fish out there, Sarah? Hmm? Then there's Kate, mesmerized by sticks. Sarah's watching something. I don't know if she saw a fish or something, but something captured her full attention out there in the lake. What do you see, girl? Did you see a fish? Are you gonna go fishing? Huh? You gonna go fishing? <laughs> she saw something. She's all excited now. She'll put her face right in the water and pick up a rock. She thinks it's something she can play with. <laughs> They're just both funny. And you're still looking at that stick. Okay. You ready, Kate? Kate, fetch. They'll be dry by the time we get down to the truck. <laughs> Ready, Kate? Go. Let's see how far out Kate will go. Oh, she grabbed it. What do you think, Sarah? Having way too much fun. Ah, oh, this is a beautiful lake. Beautiful lake. All right, girls. Shall we head home? Sarah, want to go home? You want to go home, Kate? No? All right. Sarah, what do you see out there? Oh, well. I think we're going to head home. It's been a beautiful hike up here to Summit Lake. A uh, little more strenuous hike than the easy one we took last time. But the payoff is totally different with a glorious view of Rainier and the surrounding areas. So we bid farewell the Summit Lake. Stay tuned and enjoy our next hike. See y'all later and remember like, share, and subscribe. We'll see everyone later. Happy trails!